da 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 Hi, welcome to our only weekly wrap up for week four. My name's Jasmine, I'm a TV editor. Oh, I'm a senior, what am I? Senior producer? Executive producer. Executive producer for Roni. <laughs> um, and let's wrap up week four. It's been a big week for the ANU community. Yet again, COVID-19 has dominated the headlines, conversations, and now our schedules. On Monday, it was announced that all classes would begin to move to an online format in an attempt to encourage social distancing. Most classes seem to be using Zoom, an online meeting platform, and recorded lectures in place of in-person classes. Then, on Wednesday, the Vice-Chancellor announced that there would be a teaching pause next week to allow for courses to adjust to an online format. An extra week will be added onto the end of semester to make up for lost time. Current COVID-19 cases in the ACT, as of shooting time, is four. In other news, the Vampire Cup is up and running until the 9th of May. This is a blood drive coordinated through the Red Cross Lifeblood, in which all of the medical schools in the country compete to see who can collect the most blood and plasma donations. To help ANU continue their winning streak, just register to donate and book an appointment at donateblood.com.au. Join the ANU Medical School Vampire Cup Red 25 group when you're online or in a centre. In sports news, Formula One Australia Grand Prix has been cancelled. Sheffield Cup has been cancelled. Australia New Zealand second ODI, I don't know what that is, has been cancelled. The swimming championships have been cancelled. Our camera operators toots have been cancelled. The NBL, no spectators. The NRL, no spectators. The AFL, no spectators. The A-League, no spectators. And the greatest sport of all, Eurovision, <laughs> has been cancelled. <laughs> Hi all, uh, today we're learning how to make hand sanitizer. To get this bad boy, let's make our own. We need three ingredients. Aloe vera after sun care, tea tree oil. And our third ingredient is vodka. One part aloe to um, three parts vodka. It's a few drops of tea tree oil, just the scent. One. Whoop. Whoops! Just mix it all together. So we do two shots of vodka. The party! <laughs> You should just leave this for 72 hours and not use it to let it self sanitize. But here's one we prepared earlier. It's got a lovely color to it. It's got a beautiful scent. It smells like tea tree and aloe. Um, the vodka is kind of, a little, there's notes of vodka in there. Here's us trying it out. No, this is pretty good. It is yeah. a little slippier. 